At number 5 it's the good old reliable blue disposable medical face mask. Combining a melt blown polymer placed between non woven fabric, this three ply workhorse is the mouth hole covering equivalent of an unproblematic hug from a trusted family member. But if Uncle JT insists on wearing his mask like this, it's probably time to get the social distancing pool noodle hats out. Number 4 slides in with TVNZ breakfast reporter Wilson Longhurst attempt at a classic homemade t-shirt covering. This is as solid and unyielding as the walls of Troy, unlike the Trojan horse of his second attempt which was simply disturbing. That one's more like a gag than a mask. Securing a number 3 place in is Nadine Higgins on the project with a sleek fashionable quasi winter soldier look. And correct me if I'm wrong, but how much does it look like Batman ate a bucket of KFC hot and spicy here? Always the same. Great going in, bad coming out. And number two, it's a tie between Seven Sharp's Mary Jane Agates, Balaclava made from a pair of gruts, and Hilary Barry's covering constructed from the cup of a bra. Can I try it on? No, you can't. And well ahead of the pack is this absolutely sick looking mask as worn by Lani McLean, toy ho of the Manu Reader Mariah in Auckland. Classic red and black cool fi fi resulting in a strong look that's pure Aotearoa. Mwah. Ooh, hang on mates, it's a bonus round. It's Paul Hobbs from One News. To be honest, I just included him because I realised I could put Duck Quacky behind him. 